Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to identify which apps on your computer might be consuming the most amount of your resources. So as we all know with the limitations of our hardware, that we can only run so many programs and so many applications before we, the user, start experiencing a slowdown or bogging of our system. So in this brief tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you guys how to hopefully identify some apps that might be causing issues for your Windows 10 device. So we're going to start by right clicking on the taskbar and then we're going to select task manager. If your task manager appears like this, you want to left click on the button that says more details at the bottom. So now we see a breakdown of our CPU usage our memory, our disk, and network as well. So I think we all know pretty much what all this terminology is. So pretty much if you want to sort by which applications are using the most amount of our say CPU, you just click on the CPU header at the top and you can see which apps or which programs are taking up the most amount of our CPU. Likewise for memory you can do the same thing. You can list it by the most amount of memory and if you click on it again it'll go in descending order by the least amount of memory to the most amount of memory and as well as for disk you can do it for any single row here that's listed underneath performance you can have a more visual representation of how much of your CPU is currently being used if you have a dual core it would definitely look a little bit different the same would go for the amount of RAM we have. It would definitely appear to be a little bit different in terms of our memory usage. It would still be the same general graphic, but it might look a little bit different. But you can definitely get some really good information down here. And if we and if you were to go online to any help forums, I'm sure they could definitely use that information as well. So if you're trying to diagnose an issue or whatnot. Another thing you can also do is go underneath the startup tab at the top and here should be listed whatever programs are set to start up when your computer starts up. Please keep in mind this is not going to be Microsoft Services. That's a whole nother tab we'll get into but we're not going to be doing that much of it. But just sticking on the startup tab here, these are pretty much safe bets that you could disable it and you wouldn't have to worry about really any repercussions. So if you see that you have a couple of apps here and we see the startup impact for this VMware tools is high. If you want to speed up your startup a little bit, you can just left click on whatever the name of the program is and then click on disable at the bottom right. And as simple as that, we can see under status it's disabled. So if for example we wanted to disable a program or something and then we disabled it and then we wanted to go back and re-enable it a couple weeks later during our startup, you could definitely do that just by clicking on it again and then left click on enable. So it's simple as that. I generally find that a lot of programs do not need to start up when your computer starts up. I know a lot of utilities do this, a lot of programs. I try and keep my startup as minimalistic as possible. Please keep in mind this there might be a misconception out there that by disabling these from startup that it's going to tamper with the program in some way that will cause it not to function right and that's usually not the case assuming we're not talking about an antivirus or anti-malware application which I would definitely recommend keeping enabled generally if you have any printer services or something like that you would not experience any impact and you could still use every program but unless you actually really need it to start up when your computer starts up I would recommend disabling it that's just a personal preference but I feel like most of you guys would probably share my view as well and then like I said underneath the services tab is going to be Microsoft services I'd recommend not really touching these um, don't really mess with it but if you're looking to figure out in the processes hey what's this Windows audio device graph isolation if you want to try and figure out what that is you could definitely get more information by going underneath properties and you could also check underneath the services tab to see if there's a related service to it and you could definitely research it online you can disable services if you need to by just right clicking on it and then left click on stop. Again, I'd recommend really staying away from this. This tutorial is primarily geared towards those who are having issues with specific programs. And this tool definitely does a very nice job of showing you guys visually what is really bogging down your computer. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. 
and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.